Good morning, LG, and today is Tuesday, March 7th, 2023. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart and face the flag. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Friends, it's uh, another exciting day here at LGN. Um, I don't know if you know this, but today is National Cereal Day. Yeah, America's most popular breakfast food. Uh, I don't know what kind of cereal you like. I, I tend to stick with Honey Nut Cheerios. It was my favorite as a kid. I dabbled in a few other cereals, uh, Golden Grahams, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Frosted Flakes, but I always go back to the Honey Nut Cheerio. It's just... I don't know, it's something about it. I just love it. So a little cereal history for you. Ferdinand Schumacher, a German immigrant, began the cereal revolution in 1854 with a hand oats grinder in the back room of a small store in Akron, Ohio. His German Mills American Oatmeal Company was the nation's first commercial oatmeal manufacturer. It later became Quaker Oats. Yeah, first registered trademark for a breakfast cereal. Granula, yeah, not granola, granula, the first breakfast cereal was invented in the United States in 1863 by James Caleb Jackson. Um, the cereal never became very popular since it was inconvenient as the heavy brand nuggets ugh, needed soaking overnight before they were tender enough to eat. Ugh, gross. Uh, what else do we have? Hmm. Oh, in 1895, he launched Corn Flakes. Ah, which overnight captured a national market. In 1906, Dr. John Harvey Kellogg's brother, William K. Kellogg, after working for John, broke away, bought the cornflake rights from his brother, and set up the Battle Creek Toasted Cornflake Company. It's quite a name. His signature on every package became the company trademark and insurance of quality. You can see that in supermarkets, right? Kellogg's, that's his signature. Charles W. Post introduced grape nuts in 1898 and soon followed with Post toasties. Uh, let's see. Oh, because of Kellogg and Post, the city of Battle Creek, Michigan, <clears throat> excuse me, Battle Creek, Michigan is nicknamed the cereal capital of the world. Who knew? The cereal capital of the world. Very cool. All right. Uh, I did get a few pictures recently. This one came um, from Ella Bissett and she sent it to me uh, during Dr. Seuss week and it's just been sitting on my desk. I finally get to, to show it, but it's the cat in the hat. What do you know about that? Looks just like me, doesn't it? Yeah, Mr. Higgins wore his cat in the hat tie last week and was wearing his big hat. Uh, the Noble Boys had their hats on too. A lot of people had their. Kellen had his, his cat in the hat hat on. So thank you, Ella, for that beautiful picture. And I got a great little joke from my friend Garrett yesterday. Um, a little picture on there too. Garrett asks, this is a good one. I really like this one, Garrett. What season is best to go on a trampoline? Springtime. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Nice job, Garrett, with that joke. Really great. I uh, hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. I will be around today with uh, GG's to deliver. Lots of great ST math progress going on. And as a school, we are up to 60%, I believe. We're like three weeks ahead of schedule. So keep up the awesome work. I'm really proud of you. And uh, don't forget, Mr. Riggins loves you. Bye.